Good afternoon. George Cavaligos, Great Chef T. Bonds. Unfortunately, all this stuff happens on these holidays when it's, uh, you know, headlines bombing back and forth. I don't think I've ever seen this kind of volatility in the market on a uh, typically uh, what's a holiday shortened day. Our uh, elected representatives really need to work on getting their act together. And it's still going on. Uh, the headlines just back and forth all day. I, I think the markets are saying that they're going to come with some kind of resolution. At the spoos are up 30 handles. The bonds are down a little more than a point. Ten years down, three quarters of a point. You know, we spent, what, the previous seven trading days going from roughly 136. I'm sorry. 136, 132 even, all the way up to 133 even, and we gave it almost all back today, you know, in a matter of, you know, what, six hours? An old crazy friend of mine used to say the barrel take away a lot of the bull's work in a very short period of time. I hope you guys were kind of hedged up, you know, I, I sent out that quarterly preview idea, you know, uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know how clear my mind has been working still. I'm battling this darn but flu bug still. I finally almost feel human again. Uh, I want to thank Jill for really helping me edit that uh, quarterly report. I hope it was clear enough. You know, the fifth wave popped up maybe today. We're looking for a retest of lows at a minimum. Um, I know in the bonds, fifth waves often fail, so that'll test the low or maybe even make a slightly lower low and then snap back. So you want to be on your toes as the market's going back towards that 130, 125 and that, uh, what was it, 145 even-ish area on the bonds. We really want to be on our toes if and when we get down there. Um, surprised that the Fed buyback schedule that came out today was very light this week. I thought they'd jump in with both feet right away, and I think a lot of the dealers probably thought the same thing, too, that the Fed would come in packing, you know, a hefty punch. But uh, there's one buyback this week on Wednesday. It's in the five-year sector, and then they start next week going every day with various, uh, you know, amounts of and maturities every day. Um, I, I think the market was disappointed in that. I think that's part of the sell-off. Um, I have the TBF position on from Friday. I hope you guys did something like that. Um, I think that's going to be a nice little trade. It was kind of a, a sort of low risk way to be a little bit short over the weekend and and avoid some of this headline craziness. Um, we're already back at 132.11 low in the 10 year right now and what's the low on the bonds here right now we're at 146.27 those are both 61 percent fibber tracing this is the whole seven previous seven day rally that we did in a matter of you know whatever six seven hours so we're right back at those important support levels I think we can go and retest the lows I'm gonna keep an eye out for that 131.25 and uh, 145.21 on the bonds those are the levels that I'm gonna be watching here going into Wednesday um, tomorrow uh, markets are closed. The Globex reopens tomorrow afternoon. Uh, going into Wednesday, we do not have a buyback. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Thursday is the one buyback of the week. And lately what we've seen is the market selling off into the morning of the buyback. You know, so I'm looking for uh, Thursday very early morning low in the market and then uh, a bounce into the buyback and then we could sell off again I'll you know be on my toes because again you know we're looking at a pretty hefty sell off here um, dealer treasury positions are very heavy there aren't very many hedges on you know if you look at the uh, commitment of traders data it's as of Christmas Eve which is old but it showed all the dealer um, short hedges pretty much covered they're flat in the futures markets right now and I don't think with only 250,000 total 10-year volume today that they hedged a lot so I think there's a little bit of an issue there um, we're gonna have to see and I think we get a little more downside here uh, I could flip them uh, you know around a little bit here I don't think they're taking a huge beating on it because I'm, I'm assuming that most of these positions were bought in the auctions um, 
back towards Christmas Eve and the market was lower or right around where we're at right now basically so I don't think they're taking a huge whack on it but you know any kind of bounce here we're gonna wanna see some uh, you know offers above the market is what I'm intimating here I think on the uh, tenure <coughs> if we can bounce back up um, 132.22 to you know 27 29 that was kind of where the market got broken down hard from that 22 to 25 area is where I'm going to be leaning towards putting some shorts back out um, maybe on uh, you know tomorrow night have a great new year um, stay out of trouble I know I am gonna lay low watch some movies with the wife maybe a bottle of wine not uh, doing a whole lot but uh, have a great restful uh, day and come back at it hopefully uh, with both cylinders firing on uh, Wednesday. Thanks a lot guys.